I just look back and I actually, it makes me really sad because like Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is inspired by the song Little Me by Little Mix. Um, it's kind of something that I've always thought about and so I just wanted to sit down and do it. Basically, it's a challenge like because it is probably going to be a bit emotional but I do want to ask if you do have a YouTube channel or if you have a Facebook or if you have anything so hashtag the challenge advice I'd give my younger self. So definitely there's so many things that I could tell the younger me. I suppose the biggest one is probably about my gender and like because dressing up and you know growing my hair out and wearing makeup and feeling feminine and acting feminine like because there's such big parts of my childhood like sometimes I'm just like screaming at my past and I know it's stupid but I just really want to shake that little child and just say wake up to what's really going on for you because when you're an adult it's harder to do things I just feel like I could have lived maybe a richer life like not not money richer but as in like in regards to like being happy and being free in myself I think a lot of the stuff that I went through in my life wouldn't have happened if I was you know if I had transitioned earlier I'm not saying it would have been easier I'm literally just saying that a lot of things could have been avoided and I just want to clarify this video isn't like you know looking back and being like oh I should have done should have that I know you can't change the past but I just it's if I, as a little girl, was, well, as a little boy, but as a little girl was sitting right in front of me and I was able to tell her what was going to happen and what she was going to find really hard and stuff, like, if I could just give her advice, like, just about the gender stuff, like, that would be, like, transition, do it, you know, like, look into it, see if it's something you want to do. Maybe I wouldn't have wanted to transition until now anyway, but something tells me that if I had known, if I had known it was a possibility, then I definitely would have done it. I also would have said when I was going into first year of secondary school, during that summer I was still dressing up at home and still, you know, running around and in girls clothes and stuff and it was going into first year that I realized that like it, it probably wouldn't be okay with people if I still did that and people would laugh at me and stuff and I, I just, I really just wanted to be popular and I just wanted to have friends, that's all I wanted, you know, I really just wanted people to like me, I was, there was such a, like a desperation for people to like me and if she was sitting here in front of me now, I would just say, keep doing it because it makes you happy, you enjoy dressing up, you enjoy having your hair long and I just look back and it actually, it makes me really sad because like, I cut my hair to please other people I cut my hair to please my granny, I cut my hair to please society, I cut my hair so I could fit in with my peers because it wasn't cool to have long hair and I was girly and I was gay and I was whatever. I just think like, Jesus Christ, what kind of society do we live in when we tell people that they can't have a certain hairstyle? Like, it's just, it's so dangerous, it's so fucking damaging. I loved my long hair. I loved it so much. I just think it's really sad that I had to cut it off because I felt like I wouldn't fit in if I had long hair. I'd say to my teenage self, what happened wasn't your fault. And regardless of what's happened and what you've been through, you're still a lovable person. Even though I know I got really angry as a teenager because of certain things. People around me really broke my trust and really let me down as a young person. I'm so sad for that person who had to go through that. I would say it's not your fault. And if you need to be angry about it, then be angry about it. Because bottling it up and pretending like it's not there doesn't work. Another bit of advice that I would give is spend time with the people you love and really just 
try your best to keep relationships alive because I know right now I do struggle with it. I don't know what it is because I love my friends, I love my family, but I just find it hard to reach out. And I think that's kind of put me in like an isolated place. I feel like I, maybe I've isolated myself a small bit. If I could say to my younger self, I would just tell her like, don't do that. In the long run, like it's, you're gonna be lonely and you're gonna feel alone and you're gonna you're gonna have many nights where you look back and you and you just wish that you were back in a place where you felt like you had more friends around you and and especially with like my granddad and stuff I would have just like cherished that time a lot more Even like sometimes like with his like slow driving and stuff and he used to come and collect us from school and I used to be like, oh no, he's collecting us from school. I just know I should have cherished that a lot more. I would tell my younger self that things change really quickly and nothing really stays the same. And so just to be aware of that, because I think when we're kids, we live in this bubble of everything's kind of the same. And, you know, if you personally make a change for yourself, it's not as hard as things changing around you that's not in your control. And so I would just say, be wary of that and protect yourself in that because it can be really, really hard. I would also tell myself that I am enough. And that I should never lose the fire that I have. The fire in my belly that makes me Sagittarius. Just continue to be brave. Because when I was younger, I feel like I was a lot braver. With certain things, I feel like I was a lot stronger. Um, being an adult now, like, I just don't think I'm the same way. And the last kind of thing is... Don't fight with your family as much, because... They're the ones who are going to be there for you and they're the ones that are going to stand by you and love you no matter what like people will come into your life and get really close but then they'll hurt you and leave you and sometimes they'll hurt you and stay i just know that my family will always be there for me and i'll always be there for my family like no matter what i want you to do me a favor I want you to take out your phone or your camera or whatever it is that you have and really try and imagine that your younger self is sitting there. But I want you to do that with yourself and just kind of just talk to your child, your inner child and give them a bit of advice and just see how that kind of relates to what you're going through now and where you are in your life right now. And I feel it's kind of therapeutic and I'm not saying you have to do it because if you don't want to do it and that's fine. but. I just thought it was kind of a nice idea and if you do it definitely hashtag advice I would give my younger self. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell because otherwise you won't see any of my videos and until next time thank you for watching. Wishing you a fabulous and safe day.